So as usual, I posted this video on Reddit and I asked if anyone wants to see a tutorial and I was not disappointed by the comments. Now before I start, I just want to say that most of this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Andrew Kramer's VCR plugin, which enables you to create these super realistic looking planets. In this tutorial, I'm only going to be covering the virus spread effect part. If you'd like to learn how to get the 3D earth done, simply head over to Video Copilot's YouTube channel and make sure to watch the VC Orb tutorial. Now once you're done going through that tutorial, your project will look something like this. Now there's one more thing you're gonna need, which is this additional map texture and which by the way you can get from the description below. You'll notice that this is a PNG file with all oceans and seas uh, keyed out. So this way we can apply our spread effect on the land only. Now first thing you want to do is import this map to the project. In the timeline under the main composition you will find a layer called Earth Diffuse. Let's pre-compose this one, rename it properly. You can leave all attributes in the current comp and open the pre-composition. Now drag and drop the PNG map that you just imported into this new composition. To soften the map edges, add a bit of uh, Gaussian blur. Now add tint, choose different shades of red. I'm gonna go with a dark tone and a vibrant one. Now this is gonna turn our map to red color. Now blend the layer to the existing map by changing its mode to multiply. Add fractal noise. You can play with some values here, like contrast, complexity, just see what works best for you. The cool part about this effect is that we can add a bit of motion to it. So we're gonna do this by adding an expression to the fractal noises evolution. Click and hold on this little clock icon and press Alt. Now this is gonna pull up an expression input field. Just erase the code that's already there and type in time times 100. Now as you can see we have a bit of motion on the fractal noise. You can see some animation starting to show up right here which looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the fun part. First of all, rename this layer. Now with the virus map selected, I'm gonna draw a circle somewhere around here. Now of course you can pick any location you want. Just add a little bit of feather to this mask. I'm gonna use mask expansion to create the spread. So add a keyframe at the start and reduce the expansion till the red spot disappears. Now skip few seconds ahead and raise the value back again. This way we have a red spot that expands over time. Now obviously one spot is not enough, so let's duplicate this mask multiple times. So in my case, I'm only gonna uh, place masks on this area of the map since this is where my uh, space camera actually stops. But depending on your needs, you can expand it to other areas, other locations. Now that we're done populating the map with all these circle masks, the animation is there but it still looks a bit off since all circles are animated together simultaneously. And this is why I'm going to offset all these keyframes to split them apart. Okay, now that looks better. However, the fact that they still look like perfect circles is a bit annoying to me. Because technically this is not how a virus spreads. So let's add a wave warp effect. Adjust height, width and phase. Now at this point you'll notice that the shape of the spots looks much better. However, the red area is kind of spilling off the map a bit. This is actually not a big deal but there's a way around it. Just duplicate the map, remove all effects and masks, and change the blending mode back to normal. Back to the multiplied map, change the track mat to alpha, and this is gonna ensure there is no red outside of the actual map. Now duplicate both layers, change this one's blending mode to overlay. The reason I did this is to emphasize the effect and make it pop a little bit more. One more thing we can do is adjust warp space slightly here, just to refill the missing areas of the map. And that should be it. I think it looks pretty good as it is. Now the cooler thing is that you can get creative and use the same concept to create different spread effects. Could be fire, 
ice, sand, you name it. So play around with this and feel free to share what you're able to make out of this. So yeah, that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you have any tutorial ideas to suggest because I'd really love to do a lot more of these in the future. So yeah, peace.